This is WRAL TV 5, Raleigh, Durham, Fayetteville. From WRAL TV 5, Charlie Getty, Donna Gregory, Greg Fischel, and Tom Suter with North Carolina's leading news team. This is WRAL TV 5 News. Good evening. Charlie Gaddy is on vacation this week. As expected, the John Umstead State Farm in Butner has been selected as the preferred site for the hazardous waste incinerator. Tonight, after a meeting for nearly 10 hours, the Hazardous Waste Management Commission voted 7 to 2 in favor of the Butner site. The commission voted after going through a 700-page report on the site. The report outlined each criterion the site must meet. And it ranges from no wetlands to being near a four-lane highway. The decision means the permit application should be in before December 31st. We believe that we have met all of the, the regulatory criteria of the state and EPA uh, that would, that, so that siting will not be, I mean that permitting will not be a problem. Uh, but until we face the permitting authorities, we don't know that. If you look at um, uh, the overall process that we had in terms of in terms of the state-owned property, I didn't um, really like the way that that process went on. Now, all eyes are on the Council of State. It has the final say-so on the Butner side. It meets December 13th. That's next Thursday to decide whether to transfer the Butner land from the Agriculture Department to the Hazardous Waste Management Commission. Some members have said they won't approve transfer of the land. The chairman of the Hazardous Waste Management Commission says he'll resign if the council doesn't approve that transfer. Dr. Turner says the commission has exhausted all its resources. As you might imagine, people who live in Granville County are upset about the decision. They fought the incinerator tooth and nail. Ironically, at the same time the Hazardous Waste Commission was voting on the site, people were gathered at a meeting to talk about how to fight it. Dwayne Pullman is in Granville County and joins us now. Dwayne, what is the situation there at this hour? Well, the meeting is going on now right now. It's not the major public meeting that we were watching earlier tonight, but the members of GROW, the Granville Residents Opposed to Waste, that we've heard so much from since the start of all of this, are meeting right now, plotting out their strategy, what they're going to do next. Earlier tonight, word came that the commission had voted on the Butner site as the preferred site, and of course, that came as a big disappointment to a lot of people here. But many more told me they are all the more lo looking ready and forward to a fight now. Uh, if the Hazardous Waste Management Commission, the Governor's Waste Management Board, or the Governor himself think that they will any, in any way deter us from opposition to this site, they are dead wrong. The word that the Hazardous Waste Management Commission had picked the site in Butner brought even more defiance from people here in Granville County. Despite the obvious disappointment, all of them vowed to fight. I feel that now that they made a decision, I'm going to come out and I'm going to really lay it to them. I'm going to be as vocal as possible. I'm going to sit in every hearing. I'm going to watch every move they make. And the least little mistake they make, I'm going to know. I've got hope. And I think when you do people wrong, that it'll get you in the end. We're prepared to see this through to the end. However long they last, will last longer. No doubt about it. We'll win. Leaders of the opposition to the incinerator say they are in a better position now. Now, now that it's cited, we know what the fight is. We have the site. We, we can go forward with, with things to discredit the uh, Waste Commission selection. And, and I see it as a, a beginning point for the fight for us. And that beginning point, according to Jackson and others, is going ahead with the federal and state lawsuits. They say since the site has been picked, they can go ahead and uh, get going with those. And uh, Bob and Donna, they say the most immediate focus, as you pointed out earlier, will be the Council of State and uh, what will happen on the 13th. All okay. right, Wayne, thank you. Well, one other decision the Hazardous Waste Commission made today has some Johnston County residents worried. The panel voted to split up that hazardous waste facility. That means it must now find a site to host an ash landfill. People in Johnston County fear the commission may choose their county. The commission was considering an agricultural research site in Johnston County for the incinerator, and tonight people worry that that site could still host the ash landfill. If indeed they do change the 1,000-foot buffer zone to the 200, allow wetlands within the buffer zone, and allow the facility to be split, then Johnston County can and very well may get the landfill. 
And yes, Johnston County is very concerned. A grassroots group that fought the incinerator in Johnston County says it will fight any efforts to locate the ash landfill there as well.